Today, we're going to be checking out The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. Now, I had my reservations at first when it comes to this series, just checking out the synopsis and the promotional artwork. It looked very much like the strongest age with the weakest crest, which was absolute garbage, in my opinion. I didn't like it, thought the animation was bad, story was bland, the f***ing characters. Oh my god, the characters. Did not like that series. Now, this one, done by a better studio, animation looks much better. I saw the trailer. The trailer is what flipped me. If it wasn't for the trailer, I would not be watching this. I watched the trailer. I am intrigued. Looks better. Characters probably more interesting. If time is taken with this one, it could be a good series. So with that said, let's check it out. Logo reveal. Though before we do, as it turns out, most of you are not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the content we make here, then like the video and consider subscribing because you can help us reach our goals with just one click. And if you want to see unedited versions of our seasonal anime reactions, plus even exclusives for freshest patrons that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while, you can join our Patreon link in the description. One last thing, if you want to know what anime I'm watching in the spring 2022 season, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that video. And I'll also have a video down in the description for me watching all of the trailers for this season. Aww. And his little bae passed away. And it just so happens that not only he will reincarnate, but so will she. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, this is already doing better than the strongest age with the weakest crest, which was like, I'm going to reincarnate. And then he was already like a fucking, like a teenager going to school instantly. No backstory. He doesn't really have parents. None of that shit. This is already better than that, which is good. This, this could be like Misfit of Demon King Academy, which I really enjoyed. So I didn't do reactions for it because it was before I ever started doing reactions. So don't go around asking in the comments, hey, where's the reaction for Misfit of Demon King Academy? Dang, they got a meal there too. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Has your talent for litter. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they love each other. That's sweet. Mom and dad actually love one another. Damn, what kind of rootiest shit is this? Okay, I don't know about a man physically, bro. You're 10 years old, okay? You, you like, just started getting bricked up, okay? <laughs> You're being weird, kid. Because you got to go and make friends yourself, dummy. <laughs> exactly. There you go. He's learning. He's too nervous. Aw. Run, it's a creepy kid. <laughs> I like this. I like this so far. This is already like 10 times better than, than the fucking Strong and Sage, man. That's weird, bro. That's not how you talk to people. Why are you being so... Ah, oh, it's just so cringe. No, don't make me pause and have to walk away. I don't know if I can handle this cringe. Oh, that's so cringe. They're gonna be like, ew, cringe. Get the fuck away from me, you weirdo. This man needs to learn how to talk to people. He, he needs to be like, chi way, ha ha way. Teach me how to actually talk to people. I don't know how to do it. Damn, before I, <laughs> before I alter the local ecosystem. Jesus, bro, damn, meteor, meteor kid. The mayor, Sir Olhide. He just needs to be put into a Tomodachi game and then it'll all be fine. Yeah, kind and respectful. Don't think of yourself as better than them and you won't have this weird situation where you're like, I am the king and I can grant you half of the world. Like that's, what? This man's 10 years old, and he just found out about being kind and respectful. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's funny. It, it, he's the demon lord, you know? He got reincarnated as demon lord. Hasn't made any friends for these 10 years. I get it, but it's funny. Oh, he's going to make a friend with the daughter. I mean, that wasn't that weird. 
Hey, that wasn't that bad. The problem is you got to make friends with new people, not the people you already creeped out. <laughs> this man flies too? Holy shit, bro. Oh, he does incantationless magic? You never know. You never know if the world is incantations or incant like incantation or incantationless. This one looks like it has incantations. Oh, he gonna make his first friend. Damn, that was a strong spell. Oh, she killed a puppy. That was too strong for her. I know I'm that creepy kid that's been creeping out all the kids, but hey, how you doing? My name's Ard Meteor. Time to switch it up. I like how it's got like this kind of like fighting music. Not fighting music, but you know, like. Do you want to play? Nah, you, yeah, you didn't even, you fucking just got stuck to her, dude. Try to close the distance slowly? Nah, dude, you got sucked in like a vacuum. Damn, that's kind of mean. So teach him. Man, where are you going with those little ass legs, bro? You ain't running anywhere. Damn, they got a big ass home. I try to be friends with your daughter and she's being mean to me. It is, it is fate. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Lydia must have been the girl that was asleep in the thingy. See, I was wondering like, how the fuck you know her name, bro? How do you know her name, but didn't realize she was the daughter of the, the mayor because like when he saw her he's like Lydia, you know, but like yeah I just I just had a feeling he he wouldn't know that she was the daughter of the guy and so, sure enough like he shows up He doesn't know that she's the daughter and the name is wrong. So yeah, that's what it is. Okay. That's interesting That's interesting. So he's like he sees a little bit of uh, his former lover in her which is weird They're like kids and stuff, but you know, I don't know. Maybe she was a lover. Maybe she was just a best friend I don't I don't fucking know. I don't know It is fate <laughs> she called him creep. <laughs> That's creepy. That was creepy. No, she's right. That that was definitely creepy. You gonna step out of the bushes? Great job, Irina san. Damn, she is getting her cardio in by being not friends with him. Damn, dude. Hey, he kind of got the moves, though, you know? I'm never going to give you up. <laughs> no. Show her your power. Oh, my God. That was like a fucking horrible scream just now. Oh, no, not goblins. Fuck them up. Hard meteor. Fuck them up. Hey. Nah, they can go. You don't need to save them. They're much little assholes. Damn, Papa out here slaying. Okay, Papa. Take shelter, bro. <laughs> Do you even know who this man is? This is Ard Meteor. <gasps> I shall save her. Okay, now they're like, oh shit, maybe he can save. <laughs> they, they were probably at first like, what the fuck, bro, you're a kid, you ain't doing shit. And then he flies away, oh wait, hold on, maybe, <laughs> maybe he is doing shit. Oh, that's weird. But hey, that's how goblins are supposed to be, right? Creepy. Oh, uh, you have family and you have friend, okay? Damn, these people are racist. Who's teaching these kids racism like that? Damn. 
Uh, I bet they're like goblin goblins, like doing nasty shit goblins. Yada. Whoa, what is this? Was that our boy or was that her? Well, she didn't do an incantation, so it had to have been our boy. Oh? Oh? What? She didn't say his name? Oh, oh, oh she just did. R, yeah, okay, never mind. You know who he is. There we go. We're going to pop, pop, just slap him. Uh, oh. What the fuck? This man has a killing eye? What is that? Bro, what kind of Kumoko shit is that? Damn. Yeah, that man flew away, bro. He'll be fine. That man just flew away. How many people you see flying nowadays? A lost skill. Now you owe him. Because you're my Tomodachi. Then help him. Damn. Hey, listen. Even if he can't completely understand the way that you feel, you can still tell him and he can still listen and try to understand. Even if he never fully gets it because he's never had to live through the shit that you had to live through, he could still maybe try to understand. Like, there's some shit I'm never going to understand, even if I'm told it by people, because I might not have lived through it. But I can still empathize. Kids, right? True. That's kind of savage. Ever again? Who did you betray? <gasps> oh no. Oh, that was his best friend, not his little girlfriend, not a little boo thing. Talk to her, bro. All you do is chase after her. <laughs> She's like, damn it, let me find an excuse for you to hate me. She's like, who the fuck is the demon lord Varvatos? Y'all sw swear it on the name of a demon lord? No, that's not the end. Shut up. <laughs> I like that he just tried to end it, though. I know my man bricked up. As a woman in her pro- Wait, this is several years later. Y'all was about 10 years old. How many several? Cause ain't no way- I mean, that must be a mistranslation. Cause ain't nobody saying like, like a fucking 15 year old girl is a woman in her prime. Then again, this is Japanese, so. <laughs> uh, hey, we're going to the Academy. Hey, that was a good first episode. That was a good first episode. I like it. I like it. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm so glad I'm watching this. Yo, if I didn't watch that trailer, I would have thought this was bad. From episode one, this episode was better the, than the entire series of The Strongest Age with the Weakest Crest. The entire series. This episode is better than that. There was more depth given to us in this moment, developing a single friendship. In The Strongest Age, the main character makes his first friend by walking into a shop trying to buy some items. A girl walks in. She's like, I need to make a sword for my friend the shopkeeper is like oh the thing that you want me to do is too advanced for me i can't do that i can't do the enchantment that you want me to do and then the main character says oh i could do that this random girl who doesn't know who he is who went into a fucking weapon shop to get this weapon done and is told by the shopkeeper that it can't be done, is then told by a kid that he can do it. And she's like, I trust you, you can do it. Are you fucking kidding me? That is garbage writing. Now, maybe the light novel or whatever is written better, but the anime is horrible, it's trash. This establishes a better friendship off the bat. You've got your main character who doesn't make any fucking friends because he's been too powerful in his real life. He happened to betray his best friend ever in his previous life. That led to him being isolated and alone. He wanted to reincarnate when he does. Guess what? isolated and alone he doesn't know how to make friends so when he does finally make a friend it is this girl but initially she doesn't want to be his friend because she has her own problems and she doesn't trust him enough to be her friend 
very different from the other one, where it's like instant trust. So throughout the entire episode, he is working on trying to get her to become his friend. He's trying to make a friend. It's a first for him. He doesn't know how to do that. He actually starts off by being kind of like stuck up, like as if it was the prince ascend uh, descending from the throne to come down to the commoners. Be my friend, peasants. Like that's the type of vibe he was giving off initially because he didn't know how to make friends. He was, only time he's interacted with people is his new parents. And they honestly thought he was strange. And then the only other times was when he was the demon lord being praised by every fucking person. You see what I'm saying? I like that. I like that it was tough for him to make friends. Nobody really wanted to make his friends. He was the weirdo kid. Then he does find this one girl and he's trying to be her friend. And he thinks it's like fate because the one person that was like, hey, you can be friends with people if you are kind and respecting, uh, respect, respectful. So when he goes and sees this one person, he's trying to become her friend. And then he finds out later that she's the daughter of the guy that told him to be kind and respectful. He's like, oh, this shit is fake. I gotta be kind and respectful to her. She's gonna be my first friend. By the end of the episode, he beats the shit out of some goblins and saves her, then does promise to like never betray her and be her friend. And like, she's like, oh, these are all these bad qualities about me. I would never do that in real life. Like, I would never be like, like, oh, you don't want to be my friend. I'm, uh, I'm selfish. I have an ego and uh, you're like, I would not, I wouldn't do that, bro. I would just be like, oh shit, you want to be my friend? I mean, okay. I mean, I don't know why you want to be my friend so bad, but shit i guess we could be friends you watch anime with that said animation is already better story's already better i like the characters more i think that this is going to be a much better series than the strongest age with the weakest crest and that'll be the last time that i mention it though that's a lie i probably will bring it up again and how bad it was so with that said, I would love to know what you all thought of this episode down in the comments below. What are you thinking about the series so far? I would love to hear from you all down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content, since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace. <laughs>